polyrhythm is the simultaneous use of two or more conflicting rhythms, that are not readily perceived as deriving from one another, or as simple manifestations of the same meter. The rhythmic conflict may be the basis of an entire piece of music, or a momentary disruption. Polyrhythms can be distinguished from irrational rhythms, which can occur within the context of a single part. Polyrhythms require at least two rhythms to be played concurrently, one of which is typically an irrational rhythm. In Western art music, in some European art music, polyrhythm periodically contradicts the prevailing meter. For example, polyrhythm is heard in the first few minutes of Beethoven's Third Symphony and in the first movement of Brahms's Violin Concerto. Himmler, concerning the use of a 2 over 3 Himmler in Beethoven's Sixth String Quartet, Ernest Walker states, the vigorously effective scherzo is in March 4th time, but with a curiously persistent cross rhythm that does its best to persuade us that it is really in June 8th. Polyrhythm, not polymeter, the illusion of simultaneous 3 quarters and 6 slash 8, suggests polymeter, triple meter combined with compound duple meter. However, the two beat schemes interact within a metric hierarchy. The triple beats are primary and the duple beats are secondary. The duple beats are cross beats within a triple beat scheme. Composite Himmler, the four note ostinato pattern of Mikola Leontovich's Carol of the Bells is the composite of the two against three Himmler. Another example of polyrhythm can be found in measures 64 and 65 of the first movement of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's Twelfth Piano Sonata. Three evenly spaced sets of three attack points span two measures. Cross rhythm Cross rhythm refers to systemic polyrhythm. The New Harvard Dictionary of Music states that cross rhythm is, a rhythm in which the regular pattern of accents of the prevailing meter is contradicted by a conflicting pattern and not merely a momentary displacement that leaves the prevailing meter fundamentally unchallenged. The physical basis of cross rhythms can be described in terms of interference of different periodicities. A simple example of a cross rhythm is three evenly spaced notes against two, also known as a hemola. Two simple and common ways to express this pattern in standard Western musical notation would be three quarter notes over two dotted quarter notes within one bar of six slash eight time, quarter note triplets over two quarter notes within one bar of two quarters time. Other cross rhythms are 4 3, 5 2, 5 3, 5 4, etc. There is a parallel between cross rhythms and musical intervals, in an audible frequency range. The 2 to 3 ratio produces the musical interval of a perfect fifth, the 3 to 4 ratio produces a perfect fourth, and the 4 to 5 ratio produces a major third. All these interval ratios are found in the harmonic series. Sub Saharan African music traditions, comparing European and Sub Saharan African meter. In traditional European rhythms, the most fundamental parts typically emphasize the primary beats. By contrast, in rhythms of sub-Saharan African origin, the most fundamental parts typically emphasize the secondary beats. This often causes the uninitiated ear to misinterpret the secondary beats as the primary beats, and to hear the true primary beats as cross beats. In other words, the musical background and foreground may mistakenly be heard and felt in Reva C Euro P plus or minus Eloza. The generating principle, in sub-Saharan African music traditions, Cross rhythm is the generating principle. The meter is in a permanent state of contradiction. Cross rhythm was first explained as the basis of sub Saharan rhythm in lectures by C. K. Ladzakpo and the writings of David Locke. From the philosophical perspective of the African musician, cross beats can symbolize the challenging moments or emotional stress we all encounter. Playing cross beats while fully grounded in the main beats prepares one for maintaining a life purpose while dealing with life's challenges. Many sub-Saharan languages do not have a word for rhythm, or even music. From the African viewpoint, the rhythms represent the very fabric of life itself. They are an embodiment of the people, symbolizing interdependence in human relationships a Euro P plus or minus a loser. At the center of a core of rhythmic traditions within which the composer conveys his ideas is the technique of cross rhythm. The technique of cross rhythm is a simultaneous use of contrasting rhythmic patterns within the same scheme of accents or meter. By the very nature of the desired resultant rhythm, 
the main beat scheme cannot be separated from the secondary beat scheme. It is the interplay of the two elements that produces the cross-rhythmic texturia Euro Ladzakpo. Eugene Novotny observes, the 3-2 relationship is the foundation of most typical polyrhythmic textures found in West African musics. 3-2 is the generative or theoretic form of sub-Saharan rhythmic principles. Victor Kofi Agawu succinctly states, the resultant, 3-2, rhythm holds the key to understanding. There is no independence here because two and three belong to a single gestalt. The two beat schemes interact within the hierarchy of a single meter. The duple beats are primary and the triple beats are secondary. Watch, stepping to the primary beats within 3-2 cross rhythm. Afro-Cuban Obatala dance. The example below shows the African 3-2 cross rhythm within its proper metric structure. The music of African xylophones such as the balafon and gaiel is often based on cross rhythm. In the following example, a Ghanaian Gael sounds a 3-2 based ostinato melody. The left hand sounds the two main beats, while the right hand sounds the three cross beats. The cross beats are written as quarter notes for visual emphasis. The following notated example is from the Kashora part of the traditional Myra piece Nhema Masasa. The Myra is a lamellophone. The left hand plays the ostinato bass line while the right hand plays the upper melody. The composite melody is an embellishment of the 3-2 cross rhythm. Adaptive instruments, sub-Saharan instruments are constructed in a variety of ways to generate polyrhythmic melodies. Some instruments organize the pitches in a uniquely divided alternate array, not in the straight linear bass to treble structure that is so common to many Western instruments such as the piano, harp, or marimba. Lamellophones including Myra, Mbila, Myra Huru, Myra Njari, Myra Nyunga, Marimba, Karimba, Kalimba, Lakim, and Okim. This family of instruments are found in several forms indigenous to different regions of Africa and most often have equal tonal ranges for right and left hands. The Kalimba is a modern version of these instruments originated by the pioneer ethnomusicologist Hugh Tracy in the early 20th century which has over the years gained worldwide popularity. Chordophones, such as the West African Kora, and Dusanagumi, part of the harp lute family of instruments, also have this African separated double tonal array structure. Another instrument, the Marovani from Madagascar is a double-sided box zither which also employs this divided tonal structure. The gravicud is a new American instrument closely related to both the African Kora and the Kalimba was created in the latter 20th century to also exploit this adaptive principle in a modern electroacoustic instrument. On these instruments, one hand of the musician is not primarily in the bass nor the other primarily in the treble but both hands can play freely across the entire tonal range of the instrument. Also, the fingers of each hand can play separate independent rhythmic patterns, and these can easily cross over each other from treble to bass and back either smoothly or with varying amounts of syncopation. This can all be done within the same tight tonal range, without the left and right hand fingers ever physically encountering each other. These simple rhythms will interact musically to produce complex cross rhythms including repeating on beat off beat pattern shifts that would be very difficult to create by any other means. This characteristically African structure allows often simple playing techniques to combine with each other to produce polyrhythmic music. Jazz, 3-2 cross rhythm, polyrhythm is a staple of modern jazz. Although not as common, use of systemic cross rhythm is also found in jazz. In 1959, Mongo Santa Maria recorded Afro Blue, the first jazz standard built upon a typical African 6-4 cross rhythm. The song begins with a bass repeatedly playing six cross beats per each measure of 12-8. The following example shows the original ostinato Afro Blue bass line. The slash note heads indicate the main beats, where you would normally tap your foot to keep time. 2-3 cross rhythm the famous jazz drummer Elvin Jones took the opposite approach, superimposing two cross beats over every measure of a three quarters jazz waltz. This swung three quarters is perhaps the most common example of a vert cross rhythm in jazz. In 1963, John Coltrane recorded Afro Blue with Elvin Jones on drums. Coltrane reversed the metric hierarchy of Santa Maria's composition, 
performing it instead in March 4 swing. In popular music, Nigerian percussion master Babatun Latunji arrived on the American music scene in 1959 with his album Drums of Passion, which was a collection of traditional Nigerian music for percussion and chanting. The album stayed on the charts for two years and had a profound impact on jazz and American popular music. Trained in the Yoruba Sakura style of drumming, Latunji would have a major impact on Western popular music. He went on to teach, collaborate and record with numerous jazz and rock artists, including Eta Moreira, Carlos Santana and Mickey Hart of the Grateful Dead. Latunji reached his greatest popularity during the height of the black arts movement of the 1960s and 70s. Afro-Cuban music makes extensive use of polyrhythms. Cuban rumba uses three based and two based rhythms at the same time, for example, the lead drummer might play in June 8, while the rest of the ensemble keeps playing two halves. Afro-Cuban congro, or conga player, Mongo Santa Mara was another percussionist whose polyrhythmic virtuosity helped transform both jazz and popular music. Santa Maria fused Afro-Latin rhythms with R&B in jazz as a band leader in the 1950s, and was featured in the 1994 album Buena Vista Social Club, which was the inspiration for the like title documentary released five years later. Among the most sophisticated polyrhythmic music in the world is South Indian classical Carnatic music. A kind of rhythmic solfege called conakal is used as a tool to construct highly complex polyrhythms and to divide each beat of a pulse into various subdivisions, with the emphasized beat shifting from beat cycle to beat cycle. Common polyrhythms found in jazz are 3-2, which manifest as the quarter note triplet. 2-3, usually in the form of dotted quarter notes against quarter notes. 4-3, played as dotted eighth notes against quarter notes and finally three-quarters time against 4-4, four four, which along with 2-3 was used famously by Elvin Jones and McCoy Tyner playing with John Coltrane. The Beatles used polyrhythm in their 1968 song Happiness is a Warm Gun. The song also changes time signature frequently. The Beatles used polyrhythm again on Abbey Road's Mean Mr. Mustard. Jimi Hendrix had the distinct ability to play polyrhythmic melodies on his guitar during live concerts and jam sessions. This ability was facilitated by the impressive length and size of his hands, and his unorthodox fretting method, in which he would maintain rhythm and lead melodies while using his thumb to fret underlying bass lines. Examples are live concerts from 1968 to 1970, in particular a performance of Killing Floor Live at Winterland 1968 an improvisation during Woodstock 1969, a solo guitar jam for his song titled Valleys of Neptune, among several other recordings. Frank Zappa, especially towards the end of his career, experimented with complex polyrhythms, such as 1117, and even nested polyrhythms. The metal bands Meshuga, Nothing Face, Periphery, Threat Signal, Lamb of God, Textures and Tesseract T also use polyrhythms in their music. Contemporary progressive metal bands such as Tool, Animals as Leaders, Between the Buried and Me in Dream Theater also incorporate polyrhythms in their music, and polyrhythms have also been increasingly heard in technical metal bands such as Ion Dissonance, The Dillinger Escape Plan, Necrophagist, Candiria, The Contortionist and Textures. Much minimalist and totalist music makes extensive use of polyrhythms. Henry Cole and Conlan Nankara created music with yet more complex polytempo and using irrational numbers like pi, e. King Crimson used polyrhythms extensively in their 1981 album Discipline. Above all Bill Bradford used polyrhythmic drumming throughout his career. The band Queen used polyrhythm in their 1974 song The March of the Black Queen with 8-8 and 12-8 time signatures. Nine Inch Nails frontman Trent Reza uses polyrhythm frequently. One notable appearance is in the song La Mer from the album The Fragile. The piano holds a three-quarters riff while the drums and bass back it with a standard 4-4 signature. Talking heads remain in light use dense polyrhythms throughout the album, most notably on the song The Great Curve. Megadeth frequently tends to use polyrhythm in its drumming, notably from songs such as Sleepwalker, or The Ending of My Last Words, which are both played in 2-3. Carbon-based life forms have a song named Polyrhythmy, 
finish for polar rhythm, on their album Interloper. This song indeed does use polar rhythms in its melody. Japanese girl group Perfume made use of the technique in their single, appropriately titled as Polar Rhythm, from their second album Game. The bridge of the song incorporates 5 slash 8, 6 eighths in the vocals, common time and 3 halves in the drums. The Ptani Spears single Till the World Ends uses a 4-3 cross rhythm in its hook. The outro of the song Animals from the album The Second Law by the band Muse uses 5-4 and 4-4 time signatures for the guitar and drums respectively. The Alia song Quit Hatton uses 9-8 against 4 quarters in the chorus. Examples, the following is an example of a 3 against 2 polar rhythm, given in time unit box system notation. Each box represents a fixed unit of time. Time progresses from the left of the diagram to the right. It is in bad form to teach a student to play three halves polar rhythms as simply quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, quarter note. The proper way is to establish sound bases for both the quarter notes, and the triplet quarters, and then to layer them upon each other, forming multiple rhythms. Beats are indicated with an X. Rests are indicated with a blank. A common memory aid to help with the three against two polar rhythm is that it has the same rhythm as the phrase not difficult. The simultaneous beats occur on the word not. The second and third of the triple beat land on diff and cult, respectively. The second two beat lands on the fee and difficult. Try saying not difficult over and over in time with the sound file above. This will emphasize the three side of the three against two feel. Now try saying the phrase not a problem, stressing the syllables not, and prob. This will emphasize the two side of the three against two feel. More phrases with the same rhythm are cold cup of tea, four funny frogs, come, if you please. Similar phrases for the four against three polar rhythm are past the golden butter, or past the goddamn butter, and, what atrocious weather. The four against three polar rhythm is shown below. As can be seen from above, the counting for polar rhythms is determined by the lowest common multiple, so if one wishes to count two against three, one needs to count a total of six beats as LCM, 2, 3, equals 6. However this is only useful for very simple polar rhythms, or for getting a feel for more complex ones, as the total number of beats rises quickly. To count 4 against 5, for example, requires a total of 20 beats, and counting thus slows the tempo considerably. However some players, such as classical Indian musicians, can intuitively play high polar rhythms such as 7 against 8. Polar rhythms are quite common in late Romantic music and 20th century classical music. Works for keyboard often set odd rhythms against one another in separate hands. A good example is in the soloist's cadenza in Grieg's Concerto in A minor. The left hand plays arpeggios of 7 notes to a beat. The right hand plays an ostinato of 8 notes per beat while also playing the melody in octaves which uses whole notes, dotted eighth notes, and triplets. Other instances occur often in Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 2. The piano arpeggios that constitute much of the soloist's material in the first movement often have anywhere from 4 to 11 notes per beat. In the last movement, the piano's opening run, marked quasi-glissando, fits 52 notes into the space of one measure, making for a glissando-like effect while keeping the mood of the music. Other instances in this movement include a scale that juxtaposes ten notes in the right hand against four in the left, as one of the main themes in the piano, which imposes an eighth-note melody on a triplet harmony. Another example is the fluid 7-3 polar rhythm at the beginning of Charles Griffiths' The White Peacock. See also, you music, beat, another example of the same effect, but with two continuous waves rather than a hit of the instrument only at every peak and trough of either wave. Cross Rhythm, Himala, References Further reading, Peter Magadini. Polar Rhythms, The Musician's Guide. ISBN 0-634-03283-6 Polar Rhythm Reference Book. Peter Magadini. Polar Rhythms for the Drum Set. ISBN 0-89724-821-X Study in Polymetric Independence for Drummers External links
superimposed subdivisions, an article by Hiyuki Malmberg, C.K. Ladzekpo's Foundation Course in African Dance Drumming, Novotny, Eugene D. The Three Against Two Relationship as the Foundation of Timelines in West African Musics, Ph.D. Thesis. Urbana, Illinois, University of Illinois. African Music Encyclopedia, Babatund Latunji, Africano, The Mother of Groove, an article on polyrhythms and the African drumming tradition, temperamental article by Steve B. on polyrhythms, drums database more polyrhythms, polypulse and Athena CL net tool for online, web-based MIDI polyrhythm generation, polyphony polyrhythmic metronome application for GNU Linux, polyrhythm experiments using improviser and audio cubes. Polymath Another online, web-based MIDI polyrhythm generation tool which uses symbolic input, polyrhythm lessons information on applying polyrhythms on the guitar, how many tuplets post on triplets and duplets in West African music, metronome for rhythms and multi-beat polyrhythms audio clips of many polyrhythms, how to play polyrhythms, videos video clips of many polyrhythms like the ones used to illustrate this article. Four different time signatures polymeter an example of four layer time signatures played by Danny AJD simultaneously on a drum set. Polyrhythms An introduction Peter Magadini, as seen on YouTube.